Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video, I'm your host Deeper Jungle and today I'm going to be doing another Call of Duty commentary and for today's commentary I'm going to be showing you guys how to record a live commentary using the Elgato. So guys if you actually did not know this is actually a remake video from a video that I made over a year ago on the same topic which is how to record a live commentary using the Elgato capture card. And guys the reason why I actually decided to remake this video and that's just because the original video that I uploaded is over a year old, it's coming up on about a year and a half as well as it's a little bit outdated and I forgot to mention some things in that video and that's the reason why I'm going to be making the 2018 version of of course that how to record a live commentary using the Elgato. So yeah guys now that we got that out of the way let's actually jump right into the commentary. So guys if you actually want to record a live commentary using the Elgato the first thing that you have to do even before you set up your Elgato capture card and that's go into the settings of your Xbox One or your PS4 and disable HDCP. Now if you actually did not know HDCP actually stands for high definition copyright protection and you're gonna have to disable this if you actually want to record using the Elgato capture cards and how you're actually going to be able to do this on PS4 at least I don't have an Xbox one however there are many videos out there showing you how to do this and then it's going to settings and then go down to the systems tab and then there's actually going to be a little box that says enable HDCP and there's going to be a check mark next to it now what you're going to want to do and that's just uncheck that box and then what's going to do and that's disable HDCP and then you're going to be able to plug in your Elgato and everything is going to be okay. Now you might be wondering if you didn't disable HDCP or high definition copyright protection, you're not going to be able to use your Elgato. What's going to happen is you're going to set up your Elgato, plug it into your PC, open up the software, and then you're going to notice that it's going to say no signal and unless you have HDCP disabled, you're not going to be able to record. Alright guys, so now that you disabled HDCP, the next thing that you're going to have to do and that is just of course, go ahead and set up your Elgato capture card. Alright Alright guys, so now if you actually set up your Elgato capture card, the next thing that you're going to want to do and that's go over to ElgatoGaming.com and then you're going to have to go ahead and download the Elgato Gaming software so that way you can actually use your capture card. Alright guys, so once you actually go ahead and set up the Elgato Gaming software and you open it up, you're going to be greeted to a very similar screen as this one. And before we actually go ahead and record a live commentary, we're going to actually have to go over a couple of settings and what we're going to want to do first and that's go into the top right hand corner of your screen and as you can see, there's actually a little cog and you're going to want to click on that so that way you can actually open up the settings window. Alright guys, so the first setting that we're going to want to change and that's make sure that your input device is set to the proper device that you're going to be recording. So if you're going to be recording your Xbox One, make sure that the input device is set to Xbox One. And in this example, I'm going to be recording my PS4. So I'm going to set the input device to PS4 and then HDMI color range, you're going to want to keep that standard. And then you're going to want to change the profile to what you're actually going to be recording. In my case, I want to record in full HD 1080p. However, if you want to record in 720p, you can go ahead and change that. And there are a multitude of different recording options that you can actually choose. However, for my case, I'm just going to keep it at 1080p. Now, as you can see over here, there's a little quality bar that actually goes from good to best. And what you're going to want to do, and that's just drag the little bar all the way to the best. Now, this is actually the bit rate, which means the overall quality of your video and how sharp everything is going to be looking. Now, personally, the computer that I'm actually using can run full 1080 p 60 fps at the best quality settings however your pc might not be able to so if that's the case make sure to drag down the settings to a point where your pc can actually run if you actually cannot record in full 1080p 60f at the best quality settings your pc is actually going to be given a little notification that says you might not be able to run with these settings however just change the quality to a point that you can actually record and if you can try to keep it to the best quality settings and now that we got that out of the way you're gonna want to make sure that the cropping is none you don't want your video quality to be cropped as well as convert standard definition to 480p and stretch standard definition input and yeah if you want to you can fool around with the picture as well as audio and profile settings however i'm not going to be going over that in today's video once you actually go ahead and change those settings make sure to go and click ok and then once you actually get that done now we're going to be going over into the audio part of actually recording a live commentary using the elgato software all right guys so the first thing that you're going to want to do and that is once you actually close up that window you're going to actually want to go over to the game audio setting and you're going to want to lower the game audio down to negative 21 decibels now the reason why you're going to be wanting to do this and that's just because when you're recording a live commentary you want to be able to be heard and you don't want your voice to be drowned out by the game audio however if you lower it down to negative 21 decibels you're still going to be able to hear the game audio however you're not going to be drowned out by it when you're actually talking so make sure that you go ahead and do that your live commentary audio you can keep that normal 
normal. However, if you would like to, you can go ahead and click this little check mark over here. And that's what it does is it automatically reduces game sound when you are talking. I find this to be a pretty neat feature. And if you would like to, you can go ahead and check it. I do so that way if I am talking, it's going to lower the game audio a little bit more. So that way when I am talking, of course, the game audio is going to be a little bit quieter. With the settings that I have right now with the game audio settings, you don't have to do this if you want to be heard. However, I personally like doing it. And yeah, that's just my own personal preference. And then you're going to want to keep the live commentary audio the same. However, before you go ahead and record a live commentary, you have to make sure that your microphone is set to the proper microphone that you're going to be wanting to use. And then if you just want to change the audio input, all you have to do is just click on this little drop down bar and that's going to be showing you all the microphones that you can actually use to record your live commentary and make sure that you have the proper microphone selected because you don't want to be recording a two hour let's play and then realizing that you're using the wrong microphone the whole time and then you're going to have to go ahead and scrap that video so you don't want to do that and once you actually go ahead and go through these settings all you're going to have to do is click the big red record button and then click the commentary button and then that's all you're going to have to do and then you're going to be recording a live commentary using the elgato now guys this is actually for the first time if you want to record a live commentary once you actually go ahead and open up the elgato software all these settings are going to be saved so that way the next time that you go ahead and record a live commentary all you're going to have to do is just click the red record button and then the commentary button and everything is going to be okay so yeah guys that's going to conclude today's video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it helped you out and if it did don't forget to leave a like on this video as well subscribe for more call of duty world war 2 videos as well as elgato tutorial videos like this one and if you would like to you can go ahead and check out the original video that i actually made on this topic as well as i'm going to be linking you to a playlist that actually has all my videos on elgato capture cards so yeah that's going to conclude today's video i hope to see you in the next one